Hey, Gavin Lance, top end. Want to say a massive welcome to Lloyd J. Ross, an author, a great husband, uh, just a mighty businessman. Mate, thanks for coming on this today. Gavin Lance, stop. Thanks for having me on, mate. This is well overdue. And uh, hey, it's my pleasure. It's, it's, a, it's a real yeah. privilege to be on here. On yeah. the and, 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 mate, what you've been able to achieve in your health life, in your personal life, is, is just amazing, mate. And, and then you're, I mean, obviously, I mean, well, not obviously, you're the money man. What you've been able to achieve financially at such a young age is just, uh, just outstanding. You know, and well, yeah, the truth is, though, I mean, I did a lot of it with your help. <laughs> well, well, but 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 do you know what I love, and I just want I want everyone to hear this because you know a lot of people have a, a well, when I say a lot, I hear from time to time people said that uh, people that aren't wealthy say people that are wealthy, oh, I must have done something shifty, <laughs> or I must have compromised their character. I want to say to everybody. This man has not not done anything shifty, and he's he has the highest character, and that's why I love him. He's amazing. So I just want to get that said, mate, before we go any further. I often heard a joke one time. Someone said to me, "If you're earning any money on the Gold Coast, you're either in real estate or in drugs." But <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, neither of those. And you're in neither. Money. You're the unknown. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so mate, I, you know, I just wanted to bring you on today, just more than anything, to talk about the masculine reset. You know, you you uh, come at a, 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 a strange time in the world to, to my program that I've been doing for ten years, and I was transitioning from a fight like a pro to where, where the masculine reset, you know, was, was founded, was tested yeah. and measured to the man alive. And you come in the middle when you were doing fight clubs and, yeah. and throwing in the deep end. So, yeah. but the principles we use through that, the stories we use through that, the questions that were asked. Um, so, mate, yeah, I suppose jumping in, what, what was the biggest takeaway of that masculine reset? Well, you know, what it... it when I first kept started with you, it was, you know, more around um, the boxing side of things. It's just, I was in that transition period. I didn't know it, but it just was that time. And yeah. uh, we were coming into COVID, you know, in 2020, it was 2019, I started with you. So I had this, this, um, my masculine journey began when, when you challenged me to go and do this program with you. That's when yeah. it began. So that's when my masculine, you know, mentorship yeah. continued on from where it was because I was mentored through my life, you know, with my dad yeah. and and, yeah. and certain other mentors, but you kind of picked me up from where I was and then challenged me to this next stage of it. And so it wasn't about the boxing. It was about the masculine journey. Yeah. And um, it was just so good that it could transition to what it is today, which is really all about, you know, teaching men to be men. And yeah. I didn't really know, no one laid it out for me what that meant. I had, been fortunate to pick up a lot of what it meant to be a man from my dad, but there's some elements of that were still missing. Yeah. And, and I didn't, wasn't aware of that until I came in to work with you. And so I went in thinking, getting, wanting to get what I wanted, which is a challenge and to see if I could have what it takes to go into a boxing program and fight and so forth. But what I ended up getting was what I needed, which is actually to, for someone like you to actually, lay out some things about the masculine journey that were potentially missing from my repertoire of tools and skills and, and, and character that I wanted and that I needed that I wanted to pick up and run with. But the other thing that too, was that there was some elements that were undeveloped in me, so to speak. And I guess what I needed was someone to actually have the courage to call me out on those and someone I love and respected to do it. And you did that. And that helped me go to a completely different yeah. level than what I ever anticipated. Yeah. Because I, mean, I don't know whether you remember, but I remember me saying to you, and I was sort of joking. <laughs> I uh, remember everything. I remember <laughs> everything. <laughs> but, but I remember, but for people that are watching, give this bloke some encouragement. <laughs> but I remember saying to you, Man, with your ability, your your communication skills, you, the vision of the future, I can't believe you've only got one business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Isn't it interesting? Because no one, like you, what happens 
for a man and every man is, is the same like there's you don't sometimes know what's in you you don't know what you're capable of until someone looks at you looks inside of you and uh gets to know you and then you know calls you out on it and 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 suggests that you ought to maybe set some higher standards for yourself yeah. because you don't you don't know how good you are or how ineffective you might be until someone sees it it's like getting an audit like yeah. a masculine audit so like when yeah. that happened we were running together we were training together there was you could see certain things in me and I could learn things about you. And that's what allowed you to see things in me that I couldn't see for myself. And that's yeah. what a true mentor can do. And you didn't have the, uh, you had the courage to tell me because you, yeah. there was a level of trust there. And that's the beauty of getting someone like yourself to have a look at your life yeah. and give you some insight so that you can actually take an audit. Like yeah. what, what is in me that I'm missing and what can I achieve that I haven't yet? And what some of the traits that I take for granted that actually are, are pretty special that I didn't realize you yeah. know, that I had. And, and, and that's the type of belief and encouragement mm. that changes men's lives when they get it. But the sad thing is most blokes never get it. Yeah. You know, so you, yeah. you did me a huge favor that day and I remember it vividly. I, I do. I... <laughs> but I also remember uh sitting around with a group of men they were asking you about about money and what to do and what have you and i remember it just like the talent and gift that you've got it was just coming out of you it's not like it was just sitting there waiting to come out <laughs> yeah and, and remember i said man you gotta get this into a book yeah. you can help because i've already got like i mean got some of the stuff and, and fed it to my children yeah. and they were away like it was simple it wasn't hard yeah, but executing was obviously you. You need the right people. Yes, I mean there are so many parts to that. Like the first part is you don't know what gifts you have in you until someone says, "Actually, that's it's unusual that you find that easy." And typically, it's not that mm. easy. So the question is, what comes? What's like play for you, but looks like work for others? And yeah. I, you, you saw that. And you said, "Hey, mate, this is actually something you got to explore." So that's the first stage, like awareness. Yeah. The next stage was, well, how do you get it out into the world? And that takes a level of courage and overcoming limiting beliefs. And the limiting beliefs are a little bit like the story you tell with the elephant who's attached to the, um, when the, the baby elephant's attached to the peg in the ground, mm. and it, it learns its whole life that it can't move beyond the peg and the rope. Yeah. And then as it gets older, it gets powerful enough to pull the peg out of the flipping ground and, and run run away, but it doesn't. And that's the place where we find ourselves when someone says, you've got this talent, you've got this gift, you've got to get going with it. And all of a sudden, the little elephant, oh, why me? What makes mm -hmm. me the person to get this message out? What if there are other people better than me? What And all these limiting beliefs. And that's like the peg in the ground. Yeah. So what helped me overcome that was not only the first and foremost, someone believing in me and telling me, that's the first mm -hmm. step, but it was also someone like you who was doing things with their gifts that I could see and it was a pathway that I could follow so it was like there was a bit of a beaten path there mm -hmm. and so you talk about this a lot and you say that success is something that you have to catch off others mm -hmm. and I think the benefit of me being in contact with you was that I could not only you were you were making me aware of it but I could actually see what you were doing and I could model some areas of what you were doing yeah yeah. And I thought that was a, that was a, a real gift that yeah. that I thought far out like I could just model this what you're doing and and it and it it helped me to pull the peg out of the ground and bolt yeah. out of the tent. Yeah, because I also remember that 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 moment that look on your face when I said you should write a book. You went ah, <laughs> you got two weeks, and I made sure I said it in front of other yeah. men. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know right. your character, and I know yeah. you went back down from the challenge. Yeah. And because I, I know it was in, it's in you. Yeah. It was already yeah. in you. Well, I think that's a gift you have. Well, I don't think I know that's a gift you have. If you have any gifts, it is definitely understanding a man's character, but also you have this real ability to push the buttons that they need you to push at the right <laughs> time. You know, you do it. You do it to me all the time, and I know it. <laughs> and go like <laughs> you've done that since our friendship began and i think that's the beauty of it and mm. anyone who works with you knows that you, like i trust you to do it yeah and it's been more than just the book it's been so many other things and every yeah. time i've done that it's just been i've created this new man from it yeah so you did tell me you said oh Lou's gonna write a book it's gonna be on money and he's gonna do it in two weeks <laughs> and you did it you did it around a group of blokes so there was high accountability yeah. 
yeah. and um, you know, you know my character. So I then rose to that new level of standard you set. And mm. that was a great way for me to actually bring this idea to life because yeah. I had someone hold me accountable and give me a date and all that sort of yeah. stuff. And thankfully I negotiated another two weeks and did it in a month. <laughs> so, it was amazing. <laughs> Yeah, and, and I mean, just because it's interesting because I, I, you know, even talking with the men this morning on uh, do, going through the man alive experience, which is after, what you do after you know the masculine reset was um, about the price, what it's going to cost to follow your dream to create that that life that's in front of you, you know. But 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 it's interesting. A lot of the men brought up the cost of not doing it <laughs> the cost of not like and, and i mean you know you're a money man talking money terms like that that particular book that that target that we that i suppose i said and you took on yeah mate how much is that that mate, a, well it's so difficult for me to even put into words how important that conversation was so had i've not invested in working with you at the beginning which i did you know, yeah. got to play, got to pay to play, pay to pay attention. But also, I I I stuck around with it, so I showed up. I didn't just do a program and then left. I did a program, formed a friendship relationship with you, and then stuck yeah. around because doing hard things was good for me. Yeah. And I don't know why I decided to stick around and do more. Um. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, I just I think the story you told once about the the oil, the guy that was digging for oil and the dig the deeper he dug, the better quality yeah. the oil be becomes. Yeah. So it's like, if you want to get the real good stuff, you've got to continue to dig deep in the garden that you're in instead of looking for other things. So I thought this has been good for me. I'll, I'll stay here. And that's what led to the conversations about the book, which is here. Yeah. That's what led to other conversations and me catching things off you and us holding each other accountable. And, you know, you talk about it all the time, iron sharpening iron, which is like, if yeah. I could sharpen you and you could sharpen me, it would get better and better and better. So to answer yeah. your question, the very the decision I made to work with you, the decision I made to actually go down the masculine journey and be open and coachable and teachable to do it, not only has that produced now fit like actually as a business, it, it's it's like uh, one point seven million dollars in two years. Yeah, it's been created another book, right? Which yeah. is, is look, created a huge in, international financial coaching business and education business yeah. we've yeah. also won we just won this award which is one of the key <laughs> in the world to win because of that conversation no joke this is a real right yeah. and you can see yeah. that you know your son's name's even on there because he's helped yeah. me as well yeah. right so yeah. to, to put this in words how it's helped me is i can't that's all i can show you now but what yeah. i do know is this is possibly like a hundred million dollar decision yeah yeah but not even that like what i'm going to pass on to others and the impact it's That's going to right. have in the world and yeah I, how how incredible so yeah, yeah the ma is the masculine journey worthwhile going down i mean it's <laughs> not even worthwhile even like it, it it was that decision to go down that journey with you it'd have to be in one of the top top decisions of my entire life like there's no doubt yeah yeah, that's something, mate. Oh. That, that's something. That's a, yeah, I'm very honored, <laughs> mate. And, and, you know, mate, because like something that we say in my house that the toppy dreams come true. One of my dreams has been for the longest time to make millionaires. Mm. And, <laughs> you know, well. that, that's, and, 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 you know, what makes me so happy though? That they were just, all right, this, this particular business of yours. Is obviously made you a millionaire, but 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 it's better than that because you make other people millionaires. So the ripple effect is just man, it's incredible. Yeah, incredible. But I it it boils back to like people don't understand or blokes may not understand that they've got everything inside of them to be great. They do. It's there. They've got the ingredients. They're like you know, mm -hmm. like they're they're, they're divine. Like. We, we come from the start. We, we, we are magic, right? Yeah. We are, you know, we're a miracle. Have, we're a miracle. God giving gifts. Are, yeah, we're incredible. But, you know, if, if no one's around you to, to, to just remind you of that or, or, or bring things out or even challenge you, hold you accountable, then those yeah. gifts inside of us don't really surface. And if yeah. they do surface, then we don't do things with them to really impact the world. And the masculine journey, the, the world is better served when men are men. 
Yeah. And the world is disserved when men are not men. That's right. And and I think that if you unpack success, the success that I've had is it's it's stepping up to the plate and doing what yeah. men ought to do. Yeah. Despite the fear that they have. And that's all part of yeah. what you teach. So yeah. Well, mate, might be a funny question, but I'm sure you can answer it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> would you just would you say through going through the masculine reset and then even staying on afterwards? that your definition of success has altered? No question. No question. Because uh, for a long while, my, my bookcase, which is, I don't know if you can see it up up there, there's a lot of yep. books up there, the shelf of us falling down, was, you know, business and, and investing and money and so forth. And now I've, and thanks to you, I've picked up other books too, spiritual books. And yeah. and uh, there's a one you gave me at Christmas time and it talks about a masculine journey of a man needs three things. He needs a, a, yeah. a battle to fight, an adventure to go on and a woman to rescue. Yeah. And so those elements of being a man have become more, I've been more aware of them so that my life is not just about accumulating money. My yeah. life is about going on adventures, being in, in business or actually going on physical adventures. Like we ran a hundred kilometer ultra marathon. Yeah. Because of you. Yeah. So like there's a, there's, I've been on physical adventures, yeah. business adventures, um, you know, I, I suppose spiritual adventures and relationships yeah. and, and developing that. But it, you know, I, I I know that I there's battles for me to fight and it's part of me being a man to fight them. Yes. And totally accepting that that's just part of being a man. Like, yes, yeah. there are battles and yes, I will fight them. Yes. And there are adventures to go on and we will go on them and yeah. there's a woman to rescue and that woman is m far more important than you even anticipate, than I even anticipate of being a great man. And yeah. so I think it's those elements of um, what I've learned from you that have juiced up all parts of my life. Yeah. you know in many respects you're also very much my spiritual mentor as well as yeah. you know someone i can jump and ring with and do some rounds with like it's it's yeah. incredible like not not that we're going down this path but it's fascinating for me because there are very few people that could have penetrated me in a spiritual way yeah. because of how my logical brain works yeah and they had to send he had you know god or the universe whoever you believe in had to send <laughs> a box a, a professional fighter <laughs> <laughs> to get in the way of me to actually get my attention to yeah. start saying, hey, life is more than just, you know, money or investing or well, it's it's more than that. It's there's many parts to life and I'm yeah, it's been a a multifaceted journey of discovery. Yeah, mate, that's amazing. It's so good, mate. So good to hear you speak. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. So, mate, we're we're starting this next 10 weeks on the in, on the eleventh of September. Um, you can click the link and jump in, register to get started. So what would you say to people are going, wow, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, look, for, for everyone who hasn't done any inward looking or development on themselves, personal development or, or you know, qu asking themselves questions of their manhood or what it means to be a man and maybe you've had in your past, you've had trauma and you've asked these questions and, everyone has a checkered past and different things in their in their past but if they're watching this and they're ready to make some changes that's a wonderful step yeah. and i think what happens in people's minds fairly is that they say well is this the person to for me to learn from and yes. is this the type of program that's going to help me and uh is this gonna yeah you know, is it going to help and and will this help me solve some of the problems i've got in my life yeah. so these are the normal questions i guess we all ask ourselves before we jump into programs but i want to say this there are few people that I could have learned these things off in the world than Gavin within you, because here's why I feel like your life, you have, I feel like you've faced adversity in all areas. It seems to me like all areas, not just one area, but all areas. And if you, they learn more about your life, which I'm sure they will, the program, I don't think there's anyone out there that would even come close to being able to teach men how to be men than you. Truly, like if you really know about your past and what you've done and the adversity you've faced in so many areas, I'm just lucky that I, I guess I came across you instead of someone else because I don't think there's anyone out there that can do it effectively than, than you. So if you're wondering ever, is this the right person for me to model my life off? I've got, there's no one else. <laughs> Oh, thank you, mate. I'm honoured, extremely honoured. Want to say massive thank you, mate. No, it's so good. Yeah. And uh, and and your father, your father's a great man, also. Great so, man, yeah. 
It's great. Yeah. Look, absolutely. And, and, but you know, yeah. what's a really important con, uh, caveat to that too, is that, you know, because my dad's my dad, he, mm. there's certain things he can lead me and teach me to do, which he's done, but there's yes. some things that in areas that he can't. Yeah. And so we don't just need one mentor. We do need probably a few. Yes. You know, we do. And so I, yeah. I have a, a few men in my life that yeah. I, I take uh, lessons from my dad, you, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, some other mentors like David yeah. Wood and some others, yeah. like even, like even hanging out with your son, Jay, yeah. we, we teach, yeah. we, we teach each other, uh, each other things and hold each other accountable. There's, there's men yeah. in my life that I respect and admire. Yeah. And I think it's important to have a few. So yeah, yeah I love the Hey, we've got to have more than just one, right? And he, yeah. he, he would, he's the same. He, he's had many mentors in his life too. Yeah. You know, so. yeah. No, it's awesome, mate. Hey, mate, I want to say a massive thank you for coming on today. It's so good. We could talk all day. <laughs> so, mate, what I'll do with, with this, we'll put, uh, I would love everyone, grab one of Lloyd's or both of Lloyd's books. Check that out. Um, yeah, it will change your life. It will change your legacy. It will change your children's life. I could tell you some stories. Well, you know what's happened in in you know the people that I love as a result of uh, of reading Lloyd's book. So you got to do that. Click the link there. There's a couple of links. Goodness me, we're changing the world. One man, one person at a time. All right, mate. Over and out. See you later.